why did the lethal white syndrome, which happens in pinto horses? So it's a mutation on the B receptor and is responsible for lethal white, and it's an autosomal recessive trait in ovarian horses. It causes ineffective migration of neural crest cells, which will lead to lack of pigment in the enteric nerve cells. So this is kind of will show you what happens if you breed two ovarian horses. Now the ovaros don't have white over the back. It's kind of a nice way to kind of remember it because there's so many different color patterns for it's them. It's so confusing all yeah. those. Yeah, no. go ahead. It's confusing. <laughs> so there's only a 25% chance of getting a lethal white, but for those foals, it's, it's not even tempting to try to get around it, even though you only have that small chance of possibly getting it. So when they're born, they appear normal, but they're, they're completely white, except in some cases they do have some black on them. But it's a, so they have a lack of nerve supply to the intestinal tract, which means the normal peristaltic waves that move food through the gut is impaired. Um, so and they're not allowed, they can't defecate pretty much. They can't get the food moving through the intestines and everything else. So they don't have a functioning colon. So the melicone becomes stuck in the intestine and is unable to leave the body, which is that first uh, through the intestines that need to come out or else it'll start hurting the horse eventually. Um, and signs of cock will happen within 12 hours of birth. Now, you can't get mixed up with lethal white with a regular white horse that has blue eyes. <laughs> Those horses will survive. They're going to be fine. It's the paint ones you have to worry about. And that's why people might be confused when they see a white horse with blue eyes and the pink pigment, but they aren't lethal whites. Now, like I said, they can have some black tails and some muzzle markings, but it's, it's the genetics that you have to worry about. Now, there's no cure for this. After you have a lethal white, they're going to probably die within a few days if you don't put them down because Honestly, if you put them down quicker, it's better for them because they're not suffering. So the best way to prevent it is genetic testing so you know what your horse is. So I would personally, before breeding a mare, test her and make sure the stud is tested because then you would know if she's recessive or not or if she has the heterozygous trait for it. So when you breed her in the future, you also know it. And here are my references. And there's your references. Go back to the very first slide where you talk about the genetics, uh, where you had that diagram, that one back one, I guess, right there. So like, you know, I always think of like capital W and little w. Mm -hmm. So now the ovaros up on top, are they large W, little w? Yeah, to get the, they're both heterozygous for them to They're get. heterozygous mm -hmm. for the lethal white, so they're not going to be affected. But then you come down and you've got then two heterozygous in the mm -hmm. middle, and then the solid one would be the uh, homozygous homo for the dominant trait. Homozygous for the not the white, mm -hmm. not the lethal white, and then the lethal white over there then would be, in my genetic term, large W, large W. Uh, right. It's more likely to be a small W, small W because it's recessive. Okay, so yeah, because I'm just thinking the other way mm -hmm. around, but okay. So then I always thought that some of them died in utero, and that's... I mean, they probably could, but this is when you really see them, I guess. This is the ones you... Because if they die in utero early enough, you won't see any evidence of it. But So that animal that was born then genetically has two copies of the lethal white gene, mm -hmm. what we're saying. Because okay. the ones that only have the one copy, they can live, they just have the chance of passing it on or getting that. Right, and that would be the ovaros though, right? And yep. That's why, because then, so you do two ovaros, then you get one fourth, 25% mm -hmm. lethal white. Okay, yeah, I mean, and you made a good point about the, all the names for these coat colors. Is, it is crazy, and you have to like study it to really understand it. See, I, we breed quarter horses, so. so the paints are more of a kind of a, I know about them and I yeah. know about the lethal white, but this is kind of interesting for me to learn more about oh, it. Oh yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, yeah I, th I think it's a very interesting phenomenon. So one-fourth of the animals are going to die, basically, from that breeding that's shown on the screen. Especially for people that don't care to know about the genetics. Right. You're, you're putting all that money into breeding right. your horse, and they might And one time out of four, you're going to have a dead horse, mm -hmm. on average. Now, you could have, like, five in a row. There's a commenter question here. Yes. I, I was reading a genetics book over the summer, and you are more people. Is it true that, like, the genetics of the horse like, 
oftentimes will be born white horses.